property taxes. How are they calculated? What do they pay for? And what causes them to increase or decrease? In today's video, I cover all that and more, so stay tuned to find out. What's going on guys? Alex Dunbar here from the Dunbar Real Estate Group and Remax Treeline Realty based out of the Surrey Langley areas. And in this video, I'm gonna be covering all the important questions about property taxes here in BC. So to start it off, let's find out how property taxes are calculated. There are two parts to this equation, your assessment value and your property tax rate. Your assessed value is an estimated value of your property which is provided on July 1st of each year. This is determined using general characteristics of the home, such as age, location, lot size, and home size. Recent comparable sales in the area of the same property class are then taken into account to give you that number. I have a previous video that goes into a bit more detail on assessed values and you can find that right here. In terms of property tax rate, this is set by your local taxing authority. So keep in mind that this number will vary based on year and location. So let's look at an example. Say your property is assessed at 500,000 as of July 1st of the previous year. Since the property tax rate applies to each $1,000 of taxable assessed value, you must divide the assessed value of your property by $1,000. Next, multiply that number by the property tax rate for your property class to determine your property taxes. Property tax rates are independently determined by your taxing authority and are applied to each thousand dollars of your assessed value. Keep in mind that BC assessment functions separately from taxing authorities and has no role in setting these tax rates. So what exactly do your property taxes cover? The money raised from the property taxes you pay are critical to funding local programs and services such as police and fire protection, emergency rescue services, road construction and maintenance, garbage services, recreation and community centers, parks, libraries, hospitals, and schools. The total amount of property tax needed to be collected is determined by the budget of your municipality. So what causes your property taxes to either increase or decrease on an annual basis? As I've already gone over, the property tax equation takes into account two things, the assessed value and the property tax rate. So starting off with your assessed value, a common misconception is that just because your assessed value goes up, means that your property taxes go up as well. However, it's important to understand that the primary factor isn't how much your property assessment has gone up, but by how much it's gone up in relative comparison to other properties in the same property class. Let's look at an example. Let's say that last year your assessed value was $500,000 and this year it's gone up to $600,000. This is a 20% increase. However, when we look at the average increase for other homes in your property class, the average has gone up by 30%. This means that even though your assessed value has gone up by 20%, it's still below the average increase, meaning that your property taxes will likely go down. The same goes for the opposite if your property assessment has increased by more than the average of the other properties in your class, this means your property taxes will likely increase. However, this example assumes that there were no increase in budgetary requirements by your local municipality. Keep in mind that the assessed value of your property is not the market value of your property. And in many cases, it's actually significantly lower, but this is all dependent on the type of market you're in. Now on the other side of the coin, let's assume that assessed values haven't changed at all, but property tax rates have increased. So if your local municipality has increased their budgetary requirements for the year, this could also increase the level of property taxes you end up paying. So that's about gonna do it for today's video, and I hope you have a better understanding of property taxes in general. I will remind you that I am a residential real estate agent in the lower mainland, so if you do have any questions about buying, selling, or investing, don't hesitate to reach out as I'd be more than happy to help. If you enjoyed this video and you did get any value from it, I'd appreciate if you could smash that like button. And if you're interested in seeing any future real estate related videos similar to this one or community tours in the lower mainland, I'd advise you subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.